In our body, we have several different types of muscle, each specialized for its function. Vertebrates have two types of striated muscle, skeletal and cardiac. Skeletal muscle is used to control voluntary movements of the body. Cardiac muscle is found only in the heart. We also have smooth muscle, which lines our hollow organs and blood vessels. The structure of each type of muscle helps it carry out its function. Both skeletal and cardiac muscle are striated muscles. A whole muscle is composed of bundles of muscle fibers. Each fiber is a single, multinucleated cell. Each cell is made up of bundles of myofibrils composed of thin and thick filaments. The myofilaments are arranged into repeated functional units called sarcomeres. When a muscle fiber contracts, its sarcomeres contract and the distance between the Z lines decreases. The lengths of the individual filaments stay the same, but they slide past each other. The sliding of the filaments requires energy in the form of ATP. ATP binding and hydrolysis change the shape of the myosin head on the thick filament. The high energy conformation binds to the thin filament actin. When the energy is released, the myosin head changes shape to the low energy conformation. The change in shape pulls the thin filament toward the center of the sarcomere. Muscle contraction is regulated at several levels. The contraction of a muscle fiber is regulated by calcium ion concentration. When calcium ions are present, inhibition by tropomyosin is relieved and the muscle contracts. The presence of calcium ions is regulated by nerve impulses. A signal from a motor neuron causes the release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The frequency of the signals from the motor neuron regulates the strength and length of the whole muscle contraction. When a second signal arrives before the first response finishes, the signals are added together. Many overlapping signals produce one sustained contraction called tetanus. The strength of muscle contraction is also regulated by which and how many motor units contract. And the length of contraction is regulated by how long calcium is present. While the basic mechanism for muscle contraction is the same in all types of muscle, there are some important differences. Cardiac muscle is a striated muscle and is similar to skeletal muscle. The main difference is that cardiac muscle cells have specialized regions that spread the nerve signal from cell to cell. This allows one signal to cause the entire heart to contract. In smooth muscle, actin and myosin aren't organized into bundles of myofibrils. The filaments are arranged around the periphery of the cell, causing it to become globular when the fibers contract. The structure of each type of muscle helps it carry out the specific functions it must perform. Our muscles allow us to do many things, including move our limbs, pump blood through our body, and move food through our digestive tract.